Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about all of my favorite products that have come out this year so far. I feel like there has been so many gems and I just need to talk to you about them. <laughs> so before we get into all of my favorites, a portion of today's video is sponsored by Ritual. I have been taking their Hyacera Daily Skin Hydration Supplements for a few months now and my skin feels so hydrated and it looks and feels so glowy. I've seen such a big difference in my skin since starting to take these. Hyacera is a daily skin support supplement that contains two of the best clinically studied ingredients ingredients, Ceratique and Hyabest, to help minimize wrinkles and promote skin hydration. Hyacera is made traceable, so you know exactly what you're putting into your body, and it's super, super simple. You just take one capsule a day, with or without food. And the last time I talked about these, a lot of people asked if it replaced the multivitamin from Ritual, and no, I take them in conjunction. This has all of your vitamins for daily support, and this is more like an internal skincare product. It's going to hydrate you from the inside out, and it's just going to affect your skin in the most beautiful way. And these are so easy to take because they taste good. This one has a vanilla essence. And it's so nice because they actually increased my discount code from 20% to 30% for the summer. So you can use my discount code Julia-30 for 30% off your first order. And I'll also have a link down below in my description that will automatically apply my discount code for you. So again, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. It means so much to me. But now let's get into to my top favorite products because they're so good. I can hardly wait anymore. <laughs> I'm going to start with my complexion favorites and I wanted to reiterate my love for the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. The pink one with niacinamide came out earlier this year, so that's why I thought I could just chuck this product in this video again. And I see such a big difference from the days that I wear this and from the days I forget to wear this. It just really helps to keep my makeup looking good all day. Before this primer, I was very situational with my primers. I would only go in with them for specific events, but this is a part of my everyday routine now and it's made a huge, huge difference. There are slight, slight differences between the green and the pink one. The green one has hyaluronic acid, so it's better for drier skin types, whereas the pink one has niacinamide, which is better for oilier skin types. And I used to think the consistencies were the same, but I find that the pink one is a bit thicker and just that much more tackier, but just slightly just really nitpicking these two products, but both are amazing. I use both interchangeably. So my favorite concealer of 2023 so far is the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. It is so good. It's very diffusing and soft looking under the eye. It doesn't accentuate any of my fine lines in, under there, and the consistency is so thin, and that makes it very flattering. It pairs well with every foundation, every powder I've used with it. It's just a non-fussy concealer and it looks amazing all day. And I like to use this on my face as well to kind of brighten some areas up. And I do have some other shades in my collection, but my, the shade that I use the most is the shade Light. Um, but this one lays so well on the face. It's just an easy peasy concealer to go in with. It's been so reliable and I know it's always going to look good. This eye brightener from Rare Beauty has been a huge hit for me this year, but it's such a great product to go in with, especially if you're not going to be using any foundation or you want to just lightly brighten your under eyes. It adds a tiny bit of coverage and it just makes your under eyes look awake. And the product itself looks very undetectable, which I love. I also love the applicator because it's made of metal, so it's very cooling under the eye. It feels really good in the morning when you're trying to wake up. And what's so great about an eye brightener, when you go in with a touch of it, you don't feel like you have to go in with as much concealer. This just makes such a subtle but impactful difference for my under eyes and I just adore it. This was a sneaky one. This is the Joan Road powder. It is so phenomenal. I think this is going to be an oily person favorite. Uh, it's amazing under the eye. It's super, super blurring. It almost is like a loose form of the Pat McGrath blurring under eye powder that I was obsessed with. This is so much better than the Huda Beauty powders. It's been my under eye powder of the year. The moment I got it, I just never stopped going in with it. And the days that I go in with something else, I miss this one. It's just so finely milled, so blurring, so mattifying, it makes everything look so nice and smooth and airbrushed. It blurs out my pores so gorgeously. It just has everything I want in a powder and it just makes my under eyes last all day without any creasing. Amazing. I like to use the shade Pink as well as the uh, untinted version. I actually put some of the untinted version in my pink one because this is a very pigmented pink powder. So it just kind of lightened it for my skin tone and it's just 
amazing. <laughs> it is. I have another Jones Road favorite actually. This is the gel bronzer. So I love to use this mixed in with pretty much everything. I like to use this with a little bit of my moisturizer just to give myself kind of a sun-kissed glow. I like to mix it in with my foundation to kind of adjust the tone to make it look more bronzy or if I have a foundation that's too light, it just makes it match my skin better. I like mixing a lot of this with a little bit of foundation to create a beautiful bronzer that just mimics the finish of my foundation. I like mixing it in with a little bit of blush to make it more bronzy. It's just such a fun multi-purpose product. I've been just squirting a little bit of this in anything I can <laughs> and it's just been so fun. I also like this one because it's a flat color. A lot of bronzing drops have a shimmer or sheen like the Drunk Elephant one, which I was not super big on, but I like how this is just a flat gel. So it just looks a little bit more flattering and not so makeup y especially if I'm just going to be wearing this mixed into my, uh, my moisturizer. I have something very similar to that one, but this one stains your skin. This is the Clinique Sunkissed Face Jelly, and it's awesome. I actually am wearing it today mixed in with my NYX concealer to make a bronzer. I showed that in a recent video, so you can watch that technique in full if you want to. I'll link that video below or in the eye over here. Um, but you can see on my fingertip here, it's pretty stained, which is awesome for the summertime. I'm totally going to be bringing this on my Europe trip because I know it's going to be hotter than hell over there and I'm going to be sweating my makeup off. But this is just going to really ensure that my bronzer sticks where it needs to be and looks so slay all day, you know? It is a bit of a different consistency. I'll just show you right now. This is what it looks like. It looks very dark and intimidating. It just looks like molasses, honestly. And I'll do a little squirt of the Jones Road one so you can see the differences. This is much more powerful. This is kind of more on the chill side. The Clinique one almost feels like a concentrated self-tanner and it just immediately stains. So you can see this one's a lot more translucent in a way, and this almost looks like a gel foundation. See, I have a little streak there now. But that's what it's going to do on your face, and it's going to stay there all day until an oil cleanser removes it. It doesn't stain for like a couple days. Now my favorite topic, blush. This is one of my top favorite blushes of the year thus far. It's the House Labs Powder Blushes. My favorite shade is Hibiscus Haze. It's just so easy to wear every day. It's a nice warm pink. This is a powder blush that feels like it's been infused with a lot of moisture. So I feel like that helps with blendability and pigmentation and it just helps to adhere on your cheeks a lot better, but it still has those beautiful diffusing softening qualities that powders do. I would describe it as perfectly pigmented. It's not too sheer nor too pigmented. It's just somewhere in the middle there. So it's just going to be a lot more manageable. Beautiful formula, beautiful. Another huge blush favorite of the year so far has been the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veils. I don't think that these plump up my cheeks, but it does give me the look of a lot of radiance and youth. I just love how hydrated it makes my cheeks look, but it doesn't feel like a very dewy product. It's such a flattering amount of pigmentation. It's very, very sheer and translucent, but it's still impactful on your cheeks. And this paired with the Skin Enhancer from Makeup by Mario is just such a dreamy combo. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is another product I talked about at length in my recent favorite summer blushes video. I did swatches of my favorite shade in there, but this is just an incredible product and I'm so happy he came out with blush versions of the skin enhancer. <laughs> I can't get enough of that formula. And then I felt like I wanted to quickly mention newer shades in past favorite formulas. First of all, the Dior blush in the shade Rosewood. Amazing, such a beautiful summery shade. And I feel like this is going to transition into fall just gorgeously. It's just an easy wearing color. I feel like it's always flattering. It's such a softening and diffusing blurring product. I would say that this is one of the most unique powder blush formulas on the market. They really made something magical here. And these two together make such a beautiful combo. I'll go in with the Makeup by Mario blush in Barely Blushing first, and then I'll layer a little bit of this. Beautiful. I wish I could make like duos out of different products because this in a Patrick Tub blush setting would be a dream come true. <laughs> it really would. And I have this Merit blush in Fox. This is one of the newer colors that came out around Christmas. It's such a pretty nudie red brick color. Look at that. It just 
feels like a tanned blush to me and I just have been all about it. But yeah, I just had to quickly mention that because this has been so heavily used by me. <laughs> I have one highlighter to talk about and I'm going to demo it because I just realized I forgot to put on some highlighter. And this is the Rare Beauty Powder Highlight. This is so... This is such a flattering, strobing type of highlighter. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to be demoing the shade Exhilarate, which is the one I use the most often. But this is so nice. It's very intense, so I like to just sweep on a little bit. I'll just do one tap, and then I'll just buff it into my skin. But my favorite thing about this highlighter is how it completely disappears when the light's not hitting it, see? And then you turn your head, and then it's like, ka-chow. <laughs> ka <-chow. laughs> I was very unsure about this powder highlight in the beginning because it is a very glimmery, not glittery highlight. Like when you look at it up close, you can see the pearls particles, but it just polishes into your skin so beautifully. It just makes you look like a glowing goddess. And the consistency is so silky, it's so soft, and it's very thin wearing, so it doesn't look like a complete streak across your cheek. It feels like a modernized, highlight from 2015. I don't know if that sounds appealing to you, but I just have been all about it. It's been pretty much the only highlighter I've been using this year. So that's it for complexion products. Now let's get into eye things. The first product I grabbed when I was planning this video were the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. They're so beautiful. Words can't even put them I'm going to be swatching it with my knuckle because my nails are a little too long right now. But this is the shade Celestial. It's so gorgeous. It's like a really intense version of Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. <laughs> look at that. It's very glittery. Like the more you blend it, the more sparse it gets and it can look like a beautiful topper as well. Like look at that shine. Again, I get so excited when products disappear like this and then bam, bam. Oh, and the other shade I have is Mood, which is such a unique shade. It's kind of like a bronzy color, but when you look at the glitter inside, they're all multicolored glitter. I see a lot of pink and violet and green, so I feel like it would really help to enhance anyone's eye color. And it's such a pretty bronze shade. It's so summery. There it is right here. So Mood and Celestial. They're so easy to work with too. You don't need like a glitter glue or a really good sticky primer. They just stick down and you can blend them out pretty easily and roughly and the glitters aren't going to just escape and get all over your face. They stay put, which is so rare for a product like this. They're hypnotizing and I can't say enough good things. I have some more single shadows, but these come in liquid form. These are the Half Magic Beauty Chrome Addictions. I wanna talk about the mattes and the shimmers. The shimmers are so stunning. They have such a nice topper vibe to them. They're not so opaque. They're not going to look like a full metallic or anything. They have a translucency to them again, but the shifts are just so stunning. This specific shade is my favorite out of the shimmery ones. It's the shade Baby Bunny. And I love the matte versions as well. They feel very silky. They're very easy to work with and they're consistent in color like crazy. And they're also just so easy to work with. My favorite shade is Lavenwinkle. So I wanted to just show you guys my two favorite shades from the bunch I have. There's so many days that I'll grab one of the shimmer shades and just add it to the center of my eye look. And it just adds a little pop of something fun and cute and sparkly. So nice. It's so far not been like a huge year for eye products for me. We're already on my last one, which is the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara in Volume Curling. Ever since I purchased this, it's been in my eyelashes. It just keeps them looking cute all day. My mom compliments my eyelashes all the time. She thinks I'm wearing little falsies just because of how curled they look, but they're not. They're just always my natural lashes. It just keeps the curl in my lashes like no other mascara or waterproof mascara has ever before. My lashes look this good until the moment I take off my makeup. I don't understand the magic that's in here, but it is truly super proof. I feel like I've been talking about this mascara so much and I've been repeating myself, but I just, I can't believe how it's not flaky, non-irritating, non-smudging, and it just stays like this all day. It's like kind of unheard of for me. And the wand is just so easy to just use and fluff through your lashes. It's the best. 
the best mascara. Not only that, but it comes in different forms and different colors. This is the one I recently picked up. It's the shade Rose Brown, and look at this brown. It is the prettiest brown mascara. It doesn't lean black or like a cool brown, stunning for like a softening look. So although it hasn't been a year for eye makeup, it's been huge in the lip department for me. <laughs> I rediscovered the beauty of lip stains. <laughs> And it all started with the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. It dawned on me that lip stains aren't always red and vibrant oranges. They can come in softer colors like beautiful pinks and neutrals and all of that. And this opened my life up to all of it. <laughs> this is such a nice formula and the shades are just immaculate. It's a really cool product because it's double layered. It feels like a really nice silky lip oil on top, but then it also stains your lips and it makes your lips look good all day. And you can reapply these ones all day without a drying feeling too. I kept every single shade from this line in my collection. I usually just keep a few of my favorites and I pass the others to my friends and family, but my top favorites are Honesty, Hope, Wander, and Affection. You can see its finish here on my hand. It's a very glossy, glassy sheen, but then they do stain right away. A lot of brands have some lip stains, but all the stains stain very similarly. These ones actually stain like the top layer, you know? And those introduced me to the Romand Juicy Lasting Tints, which are a very similar formula, so similar. And as you can see, I've been growing my collection more and more and more. Here are all of the shades I have in my collection so far. <laughs> they're so good. You can see that these ones have a little bit of a thicker consistency and they're more lacquered than a gloss or a lip oil. They're slightly different, but they feel very similarly on, but they feel very similar on the lips. But I'll give you a rundown of the shades I have got. So this is Nucadamia, Fig Fig, Bear Grape, Pomelo Skin, and the last one is Bear Berry Smoothie. I forgot how much I love a lip stain. They're just so hassle-free. You can just put it on and you know it's going to look good all day. I have more Romand favorites and these are the Glasting Water Tints and I wish they had as many shades as the Juicy Lasting Tints because these are really cool because they have two layers to them. On top is the super glass-like sheen and underneath is the beautiful stain. I have two of the shades so far. I have Vintage Ocean right here. My hand is going to be so stained up after this video and my favorite Rose Stream, which is a gorgeous red. I feel like you have to experience this lip product to know what I mean, what it feels like. There's two layers. It's almost a two-in-one step. It has the lipstick and the gloss on top, but just in one little step. These ones stain a lot better than the Juicy Lasting Tints, in my opinion. Like, they're quicker stainers, and the stain lasts a lot longer. I just love the shades in the Juicy Lasting Tints so much. Um, these are definitely more brick and red toned, whereas the Juicy Lasting Tints come in a variety of shades. I have regrets talking about the lip stains first because now my swatches on this hand aren't going to work as well. These right here are the About Face Cherry Pick Lip Color Butters. I wanted to rave about these once again. These are some of the best lipsticks I have ever used. If you're familiar with the Makeup by Mario Lip Serums, it's a very similar formula. It has that cooling, um, plumping feeling. It's not like a stinging plumping feeling and they have that beautiful glassy glow But these ones are the more pigmented more fun versions of those. They have such a fun range of colors more Statement colors as well as some everyday Nudies. My number one favorite still is Pomplamus right here and this one's really cute too. The dragon fruit Fusion, incredible product. Halsey and the team killed it on that product. These Half Magic Beauty glosses are just everything to me, especially the shade Frosty Bitch. This has been in my purse all season long. It's so stunning in direct sunlight. The glitter in here is super fine and it doesn't feel gritty when you rub your lips together softly. It will feel a little bit gritty if you're like really mushing them together, but if you're just doing a little soft this, you don't feel it at all. <laughs> it's just the perfect type of glitter in here that just exaggerates the look of the gloss so much to make your lips look really plump. And it's a very comfortable formula as well. They are all that in bag of chips. This is another purse staple of mine. <laughs> These are the L'Oreal Glow Paradise lipsticks. My favorite shade is 130 Nude Heaven, but I have two other colors here. 
I'm gonna try to swatch it on this hand, which feels very wrong to me. This is 130 Nude Heaven, so it's just a nice kind of pinky everyday color. And then I have 120, which is a bit more on the pink side. That's the shade Blush Fantasy. And the last shade is Mulberry Bliss. And I love the glow that they offer. It makes your lips look really nice and healthy, plumps them up a bit, but it doesn't feel like gloss nor a silky product on your lips. It just feels barely there, which is so nice. It's such a thin, thin consistency. So if you kind of want the look of a gloss, but you don't want the feel of a gloss, I would try this formula. This is just a super easy product to recommend. Everyone in my life who asks me what lipstick should they buy, I recommend this one and I hear nothing but amazing things every time and that concludes all of my favorite products from this year so far I would love to know a couple of your favorites in the comments down below but before I go I wanted to say another huge thank you for ritual for sponsoring a portion of today's video again you can use my code Julia 30 for 30% off your first order that is going to be it for me today I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll make sure to list and link everything I mentioned in the description down below so feel free to check that out and i'll see you in my next video bye guys